Good morning, YouTube. It's a beautiful, uh, about 60 degree day here in Conroe, Texas. Um, I wanted to do a quick review on this new face shield that I just bought. I've been wanting one of these for a while. I had one of these uh, cheaper ones for a year, about a year, maybe two years. I think it was made by 3M. I uh, got it at Northern Tool and Equipment. You can get them at a lot of other places. Uh, it didn't have this plastic frame around it. Uh, it was just a real basic, had the, uh, the headband thing on it and just a clear plastic face shield. Well, after using it, not on a daily basis, but you know, kind of weekend warrior type usage, the frame on the, uh, I'm gonna call it the frame on the headband or whatever, it kind of broke into pieces right here and I couldn't even fix it, couldn't even super glue it back together. So I went ahead and after seeing some reviews on these, um, I saw one from Chucky 2009. He had his for, I don't know, probably a couple of years or something like that and it held up pretty well. But this is a really good face shield from the reviews I read. It's uh, made, the company that owns it, it's called Honeywell. It's made by Uvex. Let me get a shot of that. Uvex, U-V-E-X. It's called a Bionic Face Shield. I got this on Amazon for, I think it was $32 or something like that. Um, and I'll put a link in the description of where I got it. There's plenty of reviews on this. Uh, it, it is flexible, you know. The shield seems okay. I haven't really used it yet. I just got it the other day. Um, from the reviews, uh, this one is the hard-coated shield, apparently. So we'll see about that. I'll do a, maybe a follow-up review in maybe a year or six months, something like that. But uh, all the reviews said it was really good, and I wanted to try this one. I went ahead and spend, uh, you know, spent a few extra bucks on the good one, and uh, I'm going to see how it holds up. But the main thing is, what I could not find anywhere is how big that band was. If you guys haven't noticed, I suffer from big fat head syndrome. I cannot wear hats. Uh, motorcycle helmets are incredibly difficult to find for me. So on and so forth. Sunglasses, things like that. My head's freaking huge. I've been told it's proportionate to my body, but my head is freaking huge. Okay, just to show you an example. This is like a normal, normal hat, right? My buddy, uh, Danny from Tucker Rocky, he's one of our reps. He, uh, gave me this hat and it's freaking awesome. Good buddy of mine. But, uh, normal people would wear their snapback hats about right there. Okay. So I'm going to put this on the absolute last snap there. And I'm going to just show you how big my freaking head is. Just so you get an idea, look at the back of my melon. Get a good shot there. Okay. See how this just doesn't work? All right. It's basically like on the top 10% of my head. Now where I'm going with this. Okay. Number one, can't wear hats. Cry me a river. I did not know how big this headband was. And for some of you other guys out there with giant domes like mine, this thing fits my head. I adjusted it all the way out, and it fits comfortably. It's not even tight. It's not loose either, but it's not tight. Even with the sweatband and the neoprene little pad it's got in the back, I adjusted it all the way out. fits right on. Totally, It's totally comfortable. Um, you can see out of both sides. Got a good, good panoramic vision, uh, so it looks like it's going to hold up really well. But that was my main concern with uh, ordering this is I just didn't know if it was going to fit, plain and simple. So it does. Hope this helps some of you out. If some of you guys out there suffer from big fat head syndrome like I do, get you one of these. I'll put the link in the description. And uh, again, I'll do a follow up review on it after maybe six months to a year and see how it holds up. See how easy it is to scratch and stuff like that. But uh, so far, I'm, I'm glad I bought it. I don't regret it for a second. So anyway, like and subscribe. Do it all garage. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you got any questions or comments or anything, drop them in the comments section. I'll get to them as I can. And uh, stay tuned. i got a lot more to come. Thanks a lot. Do it all garage.